Out of all the incredible tools Facebook has created for marketers, perhaps the most useful is the Facebook Pixel. Anyone running Facebook ads should absolutely, without a doubt, have the Pixel installed. All these features make it very powerful advertising platform, but they also add complexity. In this walkthrough, we'll learn more about Facebook Pixel and how to install it and set it up on the platform. Before diving in, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notifications bell. Now, let's get started. What is the Facebook Pixel? According to Facebook, Facebook Pixel is an analysis tool with which you can measure the effectiveness of your advertising, since it will allow you to understand the actions that people take on your website. You can use the Pixel to do the following. Make sure your ads are shown to the right people, generate more sales, measure the results of your ads. How does the Facebook Pixel work? We have all swiped up on an Instagram to check out the product sponsored or our feed. I've gone so far as to add products to my cart and between a rant and other responsibilities. When I come back to my phone, oddly enough, I get an ad for the product I had added to my cart. Though many of us were confused by how this was happening, it's advantage. As explained by Facebook, their pixel works by placing and triggering cookies to track users as they interact with your business, both on and off Facebook and Instagram. How do I install the Facebook pixel? The pixel code goes in between the head tags on your site. Luckily, there are some easy ways to get this installed without having to edit the code or even understand code on our site. Ways to install the Facebook Pixel. Using Google Tag Manager, editing the header code, using a WordPress plugin, which is the easiest. Facebook Pixel setup. Now that you know what you can track and why you would want to do so, it's time to create your Facebook Pixel and put it on work on your website. Step one, create a Facebook Pixel. From your Facebook Events Manager, click Connect to Data Sources and in the left-hand menu, then select Website. Click Connect to continue. Select Facebook Pixel, then click Connect. Name your Pixel, enter your website URL, and click Continue. When choosing the Pixel's name, keep in mind that with Events Manager, you only get one Pixel for each ad account. The name should represent your business rather than a specific campaign. If you want to use more than one Pixel per ad account, you can do so by using Facebook Business Manager. Step number two, add the Facebook Pixel code to your website. There are a few ways to do this depending on what website platform you use. If you use one of Facebook integration partners like WordPress or Squarespace, choose Use the Partner Integration. If you work with a developer or someone else who can help edit your website code, click Email Instructions to send your developer everything they need to install the Pixel. If neither of the above options apply, you need to insert the pixel code directly into your web pages. Click Install Code Manually. Click the green copy code button. Paste the pixel code into the header code of your website just above the head tag. You need to paste it into every single page or into your header template if you're using one. Click Continue. Choose whether to use automatic advanced matching. This option matches hash customer data from your website to Facebook profiles. This lets you track conversions more accurately and create larger custom audiences. Then click continue. Step number three, confirm your pixel is working with the Facebook pixel helper. Before you start relying on the data from your Facebook pixel, you should confirm that's tracking properly. Add the Facebook pixel helper extension to your Google Chrome browser. It's only available for Chrome, so if you use a different browser, you will need to install Chrome to use the Pixel Helper. Visit the page where you have installed the Facebook Pixel. A pop-up will indicate how many pixels it finds on the page. The pop-up will also tell you if your Pixel is working properly. If not, it will provide an error information so you can make corrections. Step four, verify your domain. To verify your website, you'll have to go to the left side menu and under Brand Safety select Domain. After this, click on the Add button. A pop-up box will appear while you have to enter your website domain and then select Add. 
a new window will appear where you have three different options to verify your website, either by adding meta tag to your HTML source code, uploading an HTML file, or updating the DNS TXT record. Choose the one that best works for your site. After verifying your website, you have to click the green verify domain button. Another pop-up box will appear indicating that it's now verified. Step number five, set up Facebook pixel events. Click the open event setup tool button. Choose your Facebook pixel ID, then click settings and scroll down to the open event setup tool. Enter your URL and click open website. Facebook will provide a list of suggested events. Click review next to each event, then choose to confirm or dismiss. Click finish setup to continue. Step six, configure aggregated event measurement. Select the pixel in question under the event manager, which can be found under data sources within the business manager. There will be a tab labeled aggregated event measurement. Click on the button called configure web events. It will open a window where you have to select the domain you wish to add web event conversions to. Click your website and then select the Manage Event button. A warning pop-up box will appear. Select Edit to continue. On the new page, click the green Add Event button on the right side of the screen. First, you have to choose your pixel or custom conversions in the drop-down menu, and then select your event. Click Review. Then select Yes, I confirm this change, and finally press Apply. And there you have it. You have configured your events. If you want to get the most out of social media advertising dollars, you want to use the Facebook Pixel. With this one snippet of code, you can measure, optimize, and build highly targeted audiences for your ad campaigns, resulting in more conversions, more revenue, and better ROI for your business. That's it for today, and I hope you enjoy my guide to how to use Facebook Pixel. If you have any questions, please let me know by leaving a comment below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notifications bell. See you in the next video.